Hi guys, Roman here with another video on emitter. So in today's video, we're going to continue what we did in the previous video, where we kind of uh, create the simple publish subscribe client. Um, now what I want to do is I want to enhance it with a message storage, right? So I want to subscribe and maybe get five last messages in the channel as soon as I subscribe, right? And I publish, I want to um, have messages uh, lingering in there for a bit. So how do we do that? Right. So if you remember, we had this broker, um, local broker, we had a client which connects, subscribes and publishes. So we run this, um, uh, go, um, sorry, emitter config, right, run default emitter, 4080, run, we have publish and get uh, the message back. Right, that's so far so good. So what we want to do is we want to now um, have a key which allows us to store and uh, retrieve messages. Right, uh, when we generated this key, we actually not uh, allowed this key to store and retrieve messages. So we need a new key to do that. So if we go back, we go back our page uh, one two seven zero zero one, right, to generate key. Remember we have generated this key. Now we use our same secret key, same channel, but we also want to store and load messages, right? So now we have this new key, which can do pretty much almost everything. It can read and write and store and load. Um, we can use this here, right? Uh, if I save, I start it again, so that will still work, of course, right? The key still can publish and subscribe. Uh, but we can also now do is publish with TTL, right? So this pretty much takes an extra parameter, which is an int. That's how long in seconds do you want the message to be stored? And uh, let's do uh, I don't know, two minutes, 120 seconds, right? And let's publish a few of them um, from zero. Right, we are going to publish ten messages. Hundred twenty seconds. And let's publish a message number. Um, right. All right. So now we should publish 10 messages and receive the 10 messages back. Let's see if that works. Right. And you can see we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right. But if I do it again, I publish again, and that's all. Now, when I subscribe initially, I don't actually get um, the messages back, right? However, they are being stored. Just by simple fact, we're published with TTL, we're actually storing the messages. Now, what you have as well is when we subscribe, we also want to subscribe with history, right? And again, it's just a number. How many messages do we want? Oh, let's request for five messages, five last messages, right? So we connect, we get the five last messages, we, and then we publish with uh, 10 messages again, right? So it's a bit of a mess, but uh, you can see that we got some messages back. Right. Let's actually now not publish. So only subscribe, and you can see that. All right. So we got nine, eight, seven, six, and five in reverse order. Right. We got the messages back. Now I can run another version. And again, it gets the messages back. Right? It doesn't publish, but that's how you use a uh, kind of message storage. 
Uh, unfortunately, right now, uh, we use an in-memory message storage, which means if I stop the server, and you can see both clients are disconnected, and I start server again, I run the clients, nothing happens. Messages actually gone from the storage, right? So if I want to make them stay regardless of um, the broker restarts, what we can use is we can use the SSD storage, right, which will actually um, store messages on disk. So to do so, you need to change this, as I just did, the provider to SSD and to configure. Um, so you have a config property, which takes in a directory, right? And let's do a data directory, right? So now if I run the broker, you can see here we have configured message storage SSD, right? Let's not do subscribe, let's create, let's just publish something. This client will just publish, right? Kill it. And now let's subscribe. Again, I'm getting the five messages around in here. I get five messages, right? So it's all good. And now if I actually stop this and start it again, what you also see is, hey, now we restarted the broker, we subscribe again and we get the messages back, right? And that's pretty much it. That's how you configure storage uh, and has, how you uh, store messages in the meter uh, with in-memory and both uh, kind of persistent storage and you can get the messages back. All right, so uh, thank you for uh, your attention uh, also Give me a like, or please subscribe to this channel and uh, I'll post other videos where we'll go, uh, maybe going further in uh, configuring kind of uh, storage with a cluster of emitter brokers. I can dis also describe how it actually works on scale and things like this. And please let me know in comments below if uh, uh, I can be of help. Thank you.